Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics Coach channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can set up Artemis on a Windows machine using binaries. Artemis is a tool that is used to perform um, genome annotation and also for browsing um, your genomes and also for visualizing your sequence features. So it's a great tool to do that. And there's the page where we download the Artemis um, software. In the link, I'll leave this link here in the description box. So just use that to visit this page. Let me also say that Artemis requires Java. Okay, so if you are using binaries, you need to make sure you have installed Java uh, before um, you use um, and run Artemis. So just make sure you have done that. I have a separate video that shows you how to set up Java on a Windows machine. So please use that tutorial. Okay, so let's continue. Let's scroll down here. And then just look at um, the software availability. Uh, we will use the Windows binaries here. Let me also chip in that Artemis can be installed using Anaconda. So just use these instructions. I have a video that also shows you how to do that. So you can just watch that if you are interested. The link is in the description box. Back to the binaries. We have Windows, Mac OS, Unix. So just use Windows. For this tutorial, we are focusing on Windows, but if you have Linux, you can use this. And I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to do that. The link is in the description box. Uh, now back to Windows. So here, you just click on it to download the binary. So just click. Or you can also double click and then your download will start. So let's wait for the download um, proceeds. Okay, so download has been done for us. It's complete. Mine is here. Uh, so let's go and check it out. Mine was saved in download, so I'll just um, check it out. So this uh, the file. It's a zip file. Okay. Yeah, this Java. This is what I used to set up my Java and um, open GDK. But uh, we are looking at Atom. So just extract the contents. You can use WinRAR. You can use WinZip, 7-Zip, any archiving tool. Uh, that works. So just extract it. I'll, I'll, I'm going to open mine and I'll just extract the contents uh, here. Okay, so I have it here. I'll just open the folder and you have your files here. Uh, you have extracted the contents here. So what we need to do is to get a path of the binaries here. And so to get a path, you just come here, look at where I've highlighted, and then just um, click on any empty space on the right side here, where my cursor is. And then you have some um, text being highlighted for you. So there's the path, the full path to this um, directory. So I'll just right click it and then copy. Okay, so I've copied this path here, and that is what I need. Okay, so so let me just take it again. Here, I come to this side here. I'll right click any empty space on the right. And then I'll copy this path here. So right click and then copy. So this path is what we will need for the next activity. So let's go back to the command line. But first, let me just close this. Uh, I think I opened it twice, this uh, window here. Yeah, so let's go to the command line first. Let's open CMD, let's open one of them here. Yeah, okay, so assuming you have installed Java, when you type Java, um, it should run for you. Okay, and so that's fine. But our interest is on the Artemis. So that's why we copy the path. So first of all, we are going to um, move to that directory or that folder. Yeah, I'm just missing this up with Linux. So this folder here. So on the DOS, on the command line, you can say chdir and then just paste um, the path, the one you copied when you were here, this side here. Okay. So there. So we just need to just ch that to it. And then we are in. So let's say dice D I R S D I R S. -A. This one list, I think it's da rather. Yeah, it's 
dir so just type dir and then you have um, some lists here okay it just listen the contents of this uh, folder here okay so we are going to run Artemis using um, ACT or Artemis any of them let's try with Artemis so here what you need to do is to just say um, Java dash jar and then just open Artemis.jar and then it will be open for you so let's wait whilst it opens okay so now we have this open here for you so here it's just asking for set working direction this is where probably all files you generate will be stored so uh, we just need to just look at where it is so you can just change this parts but let's leave it here as well so just go to okay and then you have Artemis open here for you. So from here, uh, you can just look at uh, visualizing your genomes file options windows. There are lots of things you can do here. Um, open file manager. Yeah, so this just by the way. So this just tells us now um, Artemis has been configured for us. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. And if your files appear like this, where we have the Java icon on the files then all that you have to do is to double click on the file any of them and it will open just like how i'm doing it here and then artemis will open for you so here it's just the same thing just set your working directory go to ok and then do and whatever you want to do with the software so these are the two ways that you can use to open or run artemis when you have downloaded the binary files so from here you can just follow some tutorials and get your uh, browse through your genomes annotate and then just um, visualize i have a separate video that you can use for the start to look at how you can visualize your genomes using um, attempts so just watch that to get started okay so that's how we do it uh, with attempts if you are um, setting it up on uh, windows so um thanks for watching this video let me also get your comments and then we we'll just discuss and see how it goes so talk to you later and watch the next videos that i'll upload goodbye